In Scranton, the electric city said goodbye to its former mayor. James Barrett McNulty was laid to rest today after hundreds gathered one final time in his honor. Newswatch 16's Carmela Madaloni joins us live from Scranton City Hall. Carmela. Good evening, Scott. Former Scranton Mayor James McNulty was laid to rest at Cathedral Cemetery earlier this afternoon. But before he was brought to that final resting place, the funeral procession drove past here near City Hall, and that's when his widow got out of the car and put one of his signature red roses on the steps of City Hall. Earlier today at Immaculate Conception Church, hundreds came to pay tribute to the former mayor's life. Jim's life is cut short. His memory will live on the hearts of his family, his friends, and thousands of Scrantonians. Saying goodbye to a legendary leader, family and friends of former Scranton Mayor James Barrett McNulty filled Immaculate Conception Church in Scranton to celebrate the life of the former city leader. McNulty lost his battle with cancer last Wednesday. He was 71 years old. It's a tremendous loss. I mean, he was like an ambassador to the city of Scranton. No matter where he went, it was out of town, in town, or wherever. He just loved the city and supported it. Hundreds of people, including other former Scranton mayors, came to pay their respects. Former Mayor Jim Connors tells us McNulty was a dedicated leader and did a lot for the people he served. It's a great loss. And, you know, the, the mayors there, I think there's a five, or five or six of us still alive. And uh, we miss him. He's a brother to us. McNulty led the city of Scranton in the 1980s for one term. Although he was a fierce political competitor, McNulty was also known for his humor. Father Joseph Sika paid tribute to that characteristic during his services. God be a good political consultant in heaven. I wonder what happened when he and Nancy Reagan both arrived at the same time. Others who were close to McNulty remember his signature red rose. Paul McGloin, a florist in Scranton, sold thousands to him. He would call me in the morning, he needed 200 roses for 12 o'clock or, or whatever the case, but you know, it, it was just, it was an honor to do it, you know. i never seen a man that loved the city of Scranton more than this guy, I tell you, and I mean, he was a true friend I'm to the city and, and, and to everybody that knew him. And as a tribute to her husband, Evie McNulty placed a single rose at City Hall as the funeral procession made its way to the cemetery. The former Scranton mayor again was laid to rest at Cathedral Cemetery just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. Carmela Mataloni, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Scranton. Carmela, thank you. Big problems on Interstate 80 in the Poconos this afternoon. A milk truck.